Hi, I am Master Ali, and welcome to Kyosho Jetsu Malaysia. Hey everyone, I'm Grandmaster Ali, and welcome to my latest course. It's called takedowns and finishing pins. And this is part of my Kyosho Jutsu series. And um, in this course, we're going to be looking at various takedown uh, uh, drills and, and ways to take down your opponent. And then also, I'm going to be throwing into that counters for the takedowns. So it's good that you understand the, the dynamics of the takedown and also that you can counter it because maybe someone is going to try to take you down and you know how to counter their, their takedown. So it's very important you understand the dynamics of both sides. And then on top of that, we'll be adding the pressure points, okay? And um, so if you're new to Kyosho Jutsu, I will put the labels and I'll give some pressure points explanation. And then for my existing students, who are knowledgeable in pressure points and they've taken my black belt series or some of my other pressure point courses, um, then you're going to be quite aware of the points that I'm using. And you know, the nice thing with pressure points, after a while, you're using the same points over and over again. Okay? It's not like there's an endless number of pressure points and then every single time is like a different point and another different point and another different point and then you forgot what the first point was you know you, there's only a certain number of points that you're going to use on the head on the body on the arms on the legs and and you're going to be using those points over and over and over again okay and i don't i just don't mean in this particular video but in, in from my other videos as well. That's why the knowledge carries forward. So if, you, if you're getting into this for the very first time, it's not a problem, it's not an issue, okay? Because you, can, you, can, you carry forward the knowledge of pressure points, all right? And um, so what you learn in this video, if you go take another course of mine, you say, hey, I remember Master Ali talked about stomach five or large intestine 18, okay, or stomach 9, okay, so you'll, you'll remember the names. And basically, uh, what you want to do is eventually you're going to reach a point that you're going to forget the names, okay. You're going to think, hey, uh, what the hell is this name? <laughs> Can't remember, okay. But you'll know, if you notice, I, I pointed to the location. So you'll know the location, and that's what you want, okay? When you're on the street, and you got some guy or woman, whoever it may be, attacking you, you're not gonna stop and say, hey, um, uh, where is the stomach five on your head? Can you, can you point it out to me? Um, or, or wait a minute, I forgot the name of that pressure point. I know where it is, but I forget the name. Uh, can you give me one minute? You get up your phone and you start checking in Google, pressure points up the head, and oh yeah, stomach five. Okay, I'm gonna strike your stomach five, man. <laughs> okay, so that is not the way it works. You develop and you build up muscle memory. All right, and you, you'll remember where the points are and without even thinking about it. And actually, um, eventually during that, like, you know, as you progress in your training, your face, and your body will start to light up, you know, like little acne, <laughs> like acne points um, of where the pressure points are. So your body will just, hey, wow, look at that acne point, bah! <laughs> okay, You'll, it'll be like little lights that will pop up like a, like a Christmas tree. And um, so you'll just be striking where those points are on the body and the arms and legs and all that stuff. So that is, that is the level that you are going towards too, all right? And so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be looking at takedown drills and then we're gonna be looking at the countering for those drills, all right? And then we're gonna get into some finishing pins. So when you take down your attacker, let's say, um, in this case will be our training partner. When you bring him down, then I'll show you some various finishing pins that you can do to lock them on the ground, okay? So they cannot get up. 
they won't be able to get up, no matter how much they want to try. And actually, the more they try, the more pain they will go through. So it'll be actually better and more easier for them to just lay there on the ground, okay, and they don't want to move. Because the more they move, the more pain they will go through. All right, so these finishing pins, um, I've actually brought, it, brought them in from my ninjutsu training. All right, so now maybe, maybe as you go through this course, um, I'm not showing you like every single type of takedown in the world. I'm not trying to teach you every single type of finishing pin in the world. There's too many. Okay, so but I'm opening up the door and I'm showing you some and then from there, you know, you can you can go find other types of finishing pins, other types of takedowns that you can start to work and build into your routines. All right. And what I what I recommend you do is from the base that I'm giving you here, you use henka. Henka is Japanese, right? It means variations. <coughs> Sorry. You want to make subtle changes to the base technique by either a slight different motion or turning or attacking a different pressure point. And then you do it again and again and again and again and you have from the original technique you have like a hundred different variations. And that is actually what your objective is. And that is what I try to teach to my students. And this is how you will learn to flow. Um, we're not looking for static routines that will work for every single scenario on the street because every single scenario changes. There's no such thing as uh, if the guy does this, option A. He does that, option B. He does this, option C. It doesn't work that way. Okay, It does not work that way. He will come to you with option beyond Z. <laughs> I don't know what letter is beyond Z, right? He, he will come with you with something that's not in your rule book and then you, you're stumped. What do I do? Oh my god. And you freeze. And then, then he's got the leverage over you and next minute you're on the ground. All right. So that is not what my philosophy of training is. My, I'm giving you a base and then from there I want you to play with it and I want you to change it. And, and, and adapt and modify it so that you learn when that technique beyond Z <laughs> okay, um, comes to you, you're not worried about it okay? because you're ready for it. All right? You are ready for that technique. All right? So I just want to say thank you again for purchasing this course and um, I hope it does find benefit to you and it helps to improve your training. Now I mentioned that the finishing pins I've, I've used here is from ninjutsu but maybe you're doing karate or taekwondo but you can use these techniques in anything all right so there's no problem with with overlapping it into your existing system of martial art all right all right so without any further ado um, Please enjoy the preview and enjoy the music in the preview, which is going to be the theme songs for this particular course. And um, I kind of like actually adding on these, these all these various music from around the world because it's got some really cool people out there. And uh, you know, you don't understand a single word they're saying, um, but like the beat is so cool, <laughs> right? And um, enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Na jelata, bulkütőt, posztengri, az itt szuhanázó a távodan.